We made it safe and sound in Montana, and our first stop was in Billings, Montana, at a harvest host called Eagle Rock Golf Course. We weren't scheduled to arrive at our work camp location until June 30th, so we had time to make some additional stops. Follow us along as we drive through the beautiful Montana countryside on our way to the Silver Knot for our first work camping experience. believe we've arrived. Our first overnight stay in Montana was Eagle Rock Golf Course. And unlike some other Harvest Host golf courses, they didn't require you to play golf. Well, good morning. We uh, finally got settled in here in Montana. We're at a Harvest Host. It's a golf course called Eagle Rock Golf Course in Billings, Montana, uh, just outside of Billings. And uh, a little bit of a rough day getting in yesterday. And you know, you know, if you've seen some of that video with just the road in and the storms, we had to battle uh, on 94. So that was kind of crazy. But uh, got in, um, you know, nice night. And um, it's a beautiful golf course. We'll get you a little bit of footage here as well. But we had an interesting issue. Uh, we've been having some issues with our solar charge controller and our inverter and just things just not operating well. And we haven't been able to figure it out. I've talked to GoPower, I've talked to uh, Progressive Dynamics. I think we may have a bad lithium ion battery. So um, we were noticing that our batteries were draining uh, very fast last night. And we were running hardly anything. In fact, I think we had the refrigerator on and didn't even really watch any TV. And I was just kind of whooped from the drive. So uh, we just kind of made some dinner. We, we used propane to cook. I mean, we used the oven. I used the grill outside and didn't use hardly any power and woke up this morning to basically like 2% battery. And that's two lithium ion batteries. So um, we've got an issue we're going to have to troubleshoot here. So I had a, I would have loved to get you some of the sunrise uh, that came up on the east here. It's beautiful, although it was 5 o'clock in the morning. And uh, it was beautiful, but I had to take care of the power. So I uh, wound up having to run a generator, which is kind of a shame because it was so peaceful here. There's another camper over here. I don't know if you can kind of see them. Uh, there's a Lance uh, truck camper. Where are they? right back there and we had a nice conversation with them last night they're from upstate new york and i hated to run a generator this morning but i had to get the batteries recharged before the sun came up i was concerned about damaging the battery so ran the generator for a bit uh, sun's up now so we got solar power coming back but we're gonna have to figure out what's going on i my, my guess is we have one battery that's maybe gone bad and it's discharging the other battery so when we get situated uh, later today, I'll have to troubleshoot that. Anyway, let's take a look at uh, Eagle Rock Golf Course. So uh, we we're about ready to leave the Harvest Host today. It's Eagle Rock Golf Course and uh, just another Another great stay, and uh, the golf pro came up to us, and uh, well, we can't play because we never got golf clubs. Dang it! And, and uh, I wasn't going to bet him anyway because I'm not that good anymore. But anyway, what he said is, why don't you guys go tour the golf course? And so what he did, he goes, take a take a golf cart and go take a tour around the golf course. He goes, once you get on the back nine, he said, there's amazing bluffs, and the people who own this place own all of this giant, massive property. So we're gonna, we were just about ready to leave. We had the truck packed up. We had the, the truck started. We're all hooked up and, and uh, we're gonna take a little detour because our drive today is only about 140 miles. So uh, let's show you more of Eagle Rock Golf Course, another great harvest host. It is beautiful. Makes me wish I had my golf clubs for sure. I've seen you play. <laughs> hey, watch out. <laughs> all right.
I know what you're thinking. This sounds like Barry White music. Yeah, baby. what they call in golf terms diabolical a diabolical bunker that'd be uh well i guess you'd probably chip it sideways wouldn't you no no you'd, you'd still go up and over but you got to get a lot of loft out of there oh uh, we lost her lost mika she's uh she's, <laughs> she, play, she's, she's playing she's playing on the run she's playing through oh, oh, she, <laughs> oh she's after something <laughs> get mika she spotted something <laughs> what is it mika Just a few days before we passed this area, a train carrying sulfur and asphalt derailed, sending 10 cars into the Yellowstone River. Since this was actually north of Yellowstone and the Yellowstone River flows to the north, no damage was done to the Yellowstone National Park. Another quick two-day stop put us at Yellowstone Edge. We've actually stayed there before, and wouldn't you know it, we saw six alliances in the same small campground. So after a quick two night stay, it was back on the road. Our last stop before we arrived in Ronan was a boondockers welcome in Garrison, Montana. Well, this is the, uh, the final uh, stop before we head to the next place we're going for the next month. So we're looking forward to getting off the road because it's been, it's been a long journey since uh, you know, Florida to El to Texas to Elkhart to now Montana. But so. it's been so good. Yeah, yeah. Well, we had a few uh, weather incidents, but yeah, weather. But it's been good. And some you know, oh, some and repairs. Uh, well, yeah. Repairs along the way, I but uh, we did have a few hiccups. That's that's it's our, all good now. That's RV in for you. So this is another. This is a Boondockers welcome. It's called a Creek Runs Through It. It's in Garrison, Montana, right off of 90, and in traditional. This is this like encompasses. A lot of the things of Montana in one place. You have mountains over here and kind of behind there, but a little bit bigger right there. Railroad, a river, and the highway. And that seemed those things all seem to go together in Montana. But uh, didn't hear the yeah, trains but, last but night. But look, look, turn. Look. It's, it's small mountain. And and if you if you can see right back there, I wanted to hike up there, but let me just say that the mosquitoes. Yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah. They're like they're like man eaters pretty pretty bad here they've got uh I'm, I'm gonna say probably eight to ten acres or something like that and uh beautiful ground so and they've got uh it's kind of interesting if you look here they've got 50 amp power on these rocks i'll give you a little bit close up on that and uh, 30 amp on some of the others but it's been a great stay so we're we're heading up to uh our final destination for the next month we're looking forward to getting off the road and i can't wait to explore that whole area more and bring some amazing content to you guys. Yep, we'll see you then. My darling, I can't get enough of your love, babe. Now, if it were just blue, it would be like mine. Still running, barely. He's struggling getting up that hill, pulling 15,000 pounds. <laughs> up so, finally, after 15 days and 1,750 miles, we arrive at the Silver Knot. We're going to be staying here for a month, helping both wedding venues, the Silver Knot and Sky Ridge, as well as the Harvest Host. This was such a great time. This part of Montana is so beautiful and it has so much to offer. 
Thank you so much, Kurt and Tracy, for the opportunity to camp host and for all of the adventures that you took us on. Be looking for upcoming videos showing you more adventure of our time here in Montana.